Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Sometimes you need to create containers and you need to have communication between them. So today we are going to learn how to ping a Docker container from another container by its name. So first of all, let's create two containers and we can do it based on Apache PHP image. So docker run dash d for daemon and we give it a name like web1 dash p now we will map to the port 8001 to the port 80 and the image let me just copy it so i can't miss it so we'll create an image named web1 that will run in daemon and will be mapped to port 8001 on my local machine. Okay, it doesn't have the image locally, it will pull the image real quick. If you have the image locally, this step, this step will be skipped. It will be fast. Next, we just need to create another container. Um, so if we do docker ps, we notice that this container is running. Don't mind this Nginx, it's because of Kubernetes. Now we can create another image. We can pull the image and create another container called web2 and it's mapped to the port 8002. Awesome, it's creative. So if you go docker ps, you'll see both containers running and if you open uh, the web browser, you will check that if you go localhost 8001 you have a php server and another 8002 it's already running okay great so what happens if you do um, docker exec dash it and we can enter on container on web one sh we are inside the container and we need first of all install ping because ping is not installed by default so let's go ahead and install ping apt get update to update the packages list and um, apt get install let's hopefully it will work okay so ping okay ping is installed uh, now what we can do is let's try to ping web 2 a known host okay so it doesn't work um, so now what we need to do is to create a new network um, and we can do it by docker network create and give it a name my network it's fine uh, and give it a go so we now can list all networks so docker network ls and there are some default ones and here we have a bridge type network i won't, won't dive into details but there are several types of networks several drivers but this is the one that we want so now what we need to do is to add our docker containers to our network so docker network connect uh, the name of network my network and the container name web1 and web2 awesome so now let's check how oh, it's our network docker network inspect my network now you see that this is a network it was created right now it was of driver bridge this is the subnet the gateway and now you see that you have two elements or two containers in this network container web1 which has an assigned IP address 
and container web2, which has other assigned IP address. Um, right now, so we can go ahead and enter again in container1, so we can do docker ps, so you can see, and we can do, sorry, we can do exec-it to our, this will be our web1, so let's enter inside web1 and try to ping web2, like we did before, okay, ping web2. It works. Be why? Because you have a DNS server working and it maps this host name to this IP, which is the web2 IP. It will also work by doing ping and directly the IP. So now you know how to ping uh, network uh, to, uh, how to ping on a docker network from a container to another container.